Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to the God's Hiller 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today to present a prophecy that I got, I think it was yesterday. Let me see. I, it, it, it actually happened over, I'm going to say two days. So it started on uh, Monday, January 15th. Um, join me in the King James Version Bible. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be in the book of Revelation. Um, chapter 8. Uh, let's do, hmm, let's do verse 8. And the second angel sounded, and it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and a third part of the sea became blood. Let me see if there's any other ones I want to read. Uh, let's back up to uh, uh, verse 5. Uh, chapter 8, verse 5, And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings, lightning, and an earthquake. All right, let me see if there's more. All right, now, um, I would recommend that you read this whole chapter um, if, if you're not understanding it. So just read it. Maybe you could even get the version that explains it in easy language. So again, I got this in uh, two parts. And this is, a, a, I'm going to say, a humdinger. All right, so again. Uh, Monday, January 15th, 2024 is when I started hearing this. Um, oh, you wicked people, prepare for the firestorm in the sky. You will see a battle like those in the past. That made my hair stand up when I heard, heard that. My prophet Ezekiel described it to you. Otherworldly crafts and beings visiting the earth and teaching men. i got the Holy Spirit all over me. They are coming for another visitation. Wow. All right, keep going. We'll get to the next one. Well, let's see if I have the date on the, the next part. I think it was the next day. Strange signs, disturbing sights, hybrid beings, that's what you're going to be saying. Strange signs, disturbing sights, hybrid beings. You have found the evidence in the ruins of the nations I destroyed in the past. I destroyed in the past because of their perversions and abominations. Fire in the sky, fire on the land, judgment on the wicked. Whoa. Let's see. I mean, there's not really much more I can say on this. Uh, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, you can read about that in Acts, uh, the book of Acts, Acts 2.38. Right, let's look at this again. Now, if uh, I would suggest that you read Ezekiel. Now, a lot of you guys uh, are on here for like years and years. Now, I do have, I'm going to take a guess, maybe two, two three hundred uh, brand new uh, subscribers. So, welcome. Um, God bless you and thank you for finding us. So, um, when I was a little girl, most of you know this, I was about seven years old. The Lord called me uh, specifically uh, to start reading, and I was just learning how to read the book, look at the Holy Spirit on me, the book of Revelation. He called me to read that. Now, here's a little girl, like seven years old, reading this. I was like, I have no idea what this means. And I was in my grandpa's Bible. This is what it is. I have it now today. When he passed away, I inherited his Bible. <clears throat> so the Lord called me to read the book of Revelation when I was like seven, seven years old. I'm going to take this. I think it was seven. I just learned how to read now, the other uh, book I was stuck on for years and years and years, because, of course, I read the whole entire Bible, not only Revelation, um, was Ezekiel. So you want to go to Ezekiel and read the story. Um, that, And it sounds like, uh, I hate to put it this way, but it sounds like a some sort of aircraft battle in the sky. 
because you see all the scriptures of the wheel within a wheel, and I know everybody has their idea of what that is, but I was stuck on that for years. No, I did not get a confirmation to exactly what it was. But many people think that, that uh, the book of Ezekiel is describing, um, how can I put it, um, alien crafts in a big battle over the uh, over the nations. No, it's not just one nation. It's several nations that have this uh, this story in it. That's what I found intriguing. So you might want to read the book of Ezekiel, see where we're going there. Same thing with book of Revelation. All right, so let's see what else. Okay, so we know that this is basically, and I feel really bad that I have to say this, is for the unrepentant people that are still in sin. Uh, you know what it is. Uh, let's see, there's several things. Liars. Um, let's see, uh, sexual perversions, uh, fornication, I could go on the whole list. That is what he does not like. Pride, arrogance, I could go over uh, everything that's on there. But you should probably Google, I think it starts off uh, with the um, something in the scripture that what the Lord hates. Uh, let's see, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, uh, let's see. You need to know these things. Okay, my prophet Ezekiel described it to you. So otherworldly crafts and beings visiting the earth and teaching men. Now we know this goes actually back to the time of Noah when the fallen angels were here and they were teaching the uh, the people um, all about astronomy. Now this is, correct me if I'm wrong, because I read all of those books, you know, the Book of Enoch, the Dead Sea Scrolls, I read everything. But the fallen angels were teaching uh, the people uh, about engineering, about astrology, what else? He was teaching the women how to make makeup, put makeup on, what else? Um, weapons, how to make um, weapons and swords and so on. You, you need to read these things and have like a background so when you, you get a prophecy like this, you have an idea of what's going on already. All right, so you'll see a battle like those in the past. My prophet Ezekiel described it to you otherworldly crafts and beings visiting the earth and teaching men. They are coming for another visitation. So get ready. I can't put that any plainer. Get ready. We're going to see things if we are here. Now, uh, I noticed a lot of news articles or news headlines, because I don't read the whole article anymore, talking about uh, right now, you know, after years and years of, of the government and everybody denying there's any kind of UFOs and so on, there's there's like billions of footage of unidentified flying objects out there in the sky. And it's not one person, it's like many people see the same thing. Be prepared. You don't know what you're going to see, that's my point. All right. Evidence in the ruins of the nations I destroyed in the past because of their perversions. Now think about who he destroyed. At the time of Noah, uh, let's see, Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, let's see, what else did he do? Oh, the best one to me is, and I don't know, you know, I like history, um, especially about, like, ancient times and, and biblical times. So I watched this documentary years ago on um, what they found in Pompeii, and I was floored. So really, uh, Pompeii was destroyed by a volcano, like, billions of tons of ash covered everything and pretty much fried everyone. He's not messing around here. I mean, I can't say it better than this. Fire from the sky, fire on the land, judgment on the wicked. You don't want to be the wicked left behind. I'll put it that way. You need to repent daily. If you're in a sinful situation, um, and you could Google what he doesn't like and what you're not supposed to be doing. If you're in a sin sinful uh, relationship or in uh, doing something you shouldn't be doing, I strongly recommend we're at the end. Time is up that you repent and stop and turn, turn from your sin. That's You've seen evidence in the ruins of the nations. I'm seeing more and more headlines of bizarre things they're finding. And again, I saw that Pompeii, uh, what do you call it, the Pompeii documentary. I remember I stayed up a little late, uh, like I don't laugh. I stayed up a little late, like to 10.30 to watch that. It was like, whoa, I couldn't believe it. And I saw, let me look if there's anything else on here. Judgment on the Wicked. Uh, because of their perversions, I mean, I can't believe I say this a lot of times, that if I were the Lord, I would have already made everybody an ash. I, mean, I, I can't believe he's just sitting there and, you know, he's doing what I did. 
I give you enough rope to hang yourself. So basically, in my words, that is what he's doing. He's just sitting back waiting to see if you're going to call on him. He doesn't want anyone to perish. He wants you to come forward, get out of your sin. He doesn't want anybody left behind. Now, um, let's see, in the 90s. Mm, let's see. In the 90s, I read a, a book series. It was called Left Behind. Now, I think they actually I th might even have videos of it over there. Left Behind 1, Left Behind 2, Left Behind Tribulation. You might want to look those up, though, because there's a lot of, like, I'll say interesting things in them. And some things that I didn't even think about that made me think about what could be happening if you're left behind. I don't want to be left behind. I pray day and night that I'm not. I pray I'm accounted worthy to escape the wrath to come. You need to do that too. All right, let me say the prayer of Jabez. <clears throat> now, I rearranged that. It is in the Bible. I rearranged it to suit my, myself, and then I pray that usually twice a day, in the morning and at night. God the Father in heaven, in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, bless me indeed. Expand my territory. Keep evil and the devil away from me and my family. Let your hand be with me always, and please don't ever let me cause anyone harm or pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. All right, so, now, you see me looking out the window. Uh, we got about, th I want to say maybe, uh, well, my son wasn't sure exactly how much, but I could see on the balcony. Let me look up there. I could see on the balcony, it looks like we got about three inches of snow, and it's the kind of snow, I, I think it's like the wet snow, and it sticks to all the trees, and is gorgeous. I just love snow. All right, I'm just rambling. All right, so make sure you have an emergency plan. You don't know what's coming. Well, you do know if you're reading your Bible. So you should be reading the book of Revelation, book of Daniel, book of Matthew to see what's coming. I wouldn't be telling you this unless it was urgent. I mean, I've get, been getting prophecies, and it's so bizarre, like, every few days, you know, once a week, you know, and this is, like, highly unusual for me. And I'm thinking, I know we're at the end because this is not a normal situation that I'm getting prophecies like this. I never did before. Have a plan. Let your family know what's going on. Even if they laugh at you, don't worry about that. You're helping them in the long run. You don't want them left behind and, and scavenging. I'm going to say it, scavenging around for food and so on because that's what's going to end up happening. Whoever's left behind are going to go through a horrible, horrible ordeal for several years. Make sure it's not you or your family. All right, did I say it? Oh, planner. All right, so the YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Um, hit the notification button. Same thing with uh, Facebook. Uh, like and share there. Uh, they're not doing it. And uh, they put me, um, I don't know, in trouble with something else. And I keep on getting warning notices. So I have to be really careful w what I say here. So like and share on the Facebook channel. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, let's see. Uh, prayers for um, our friend Jane, uh, my friend Patty. Uh, let's see. My friend, um, let's see. Patricia. Uh, we have so many. Uh, my friend Tim. Um, I'm trying. I, I, and I'm sorry if I miss anyone, but I'm, you know, I'm not good with, with remembering things with the stroke and all. Um, let's see who else. Okay, we got Tim. We got Tim's grandma. My son Joseph. Uh, that's home from jail. He's doing fabulous. Please keep him in your prayers that everything continues to go smooth for him. Uh, Brother Dan, he's still sick. Uh, I'll say he, he said he's in crisis. None of the doctors want to do anything. They keep referring him to someone else. Now he's referred to, uh, let's see, what is it? Infectious disease. He has Lyme disease, it tested positive, and he has every symptom of a chronic Lyme disease. So he's like so weak, he can't eat. It's just horrible. All right, did I miss anything? Cover pretty much everyone. Okay, I think I'm going to sign off there because you know I always have a problem with these uploaded. All right, so again, today is January 18th, uh, 2024. Uh, is it 18th? January, here's me, yeah. January 16th, 2024. God bless you all. We love you guys. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for the, um, the support of the ministry. Thank you for the translations under the videos. Um, thank you for the encouraging comments under the videos. Uh, thank you for things you send me in the mail, or us, I should say. 
Thank you so much. Here, our family. I hope I didn't miss anything. Please remember, though, to sh like and share. Oh, dear. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> All right. So God bless you. We love you guys. Thank you for everything.